Episode 10, Together Forever. In death for this guy, taking a sunblade to the neck. I used to be a traveler like you, and then I took water slash to the neck. He uses attack against them. He still got little life. Right, because that, that's what matters right now. Not having Michael Jackson's approval. Oh, final attack? He can just do that? What the hell? Stabbed him with arrows? A water slash for every occasion. He's really pulling out the entire arsenal. You just gotta hang hang on long enough for this guy's head to disintegrate. This is what your training was for. He directly spoke about that, like being on the verge of giving up and collapse. Why are we practice? And I don't... Okay. There's no technique for that, I guess. Oh, the famous falling on your back technique. Funny that they directly talked about him learning how to fall. That became extremely relevant. You should see the other guy. That just leaves Nezuko kicking her way to victory. <laughs> With his mouth. They'll pick up the slack, though. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. Isn't this fun? Can he see without the piece of paper? He can't, right? <laughs> okay. It's amazing how deadly and terrifying. Oh, she kept her leg this time. <laughs> yeah, you've mentioned that. <laughs> this like I was born for this. Lady Tamayo is unusually calm. That will be some great poetic justice. Having her be destroyed by balls. <laughs> this turned into a game of soccer real quick. This is not even an attack anymore. It's not even a fight. It's just a contest of will. And in the end, they learn to love each other by bonding over a game of Tamari Ball. <laughs> Definitely making her look epic. Her face is rippling. One point. She's not going all out? Uh oh, Lady Tamayo's rolling up her sleeve. This is fun! Very fun. True identity. What do you know, Lady Tamayo? Out with it. Why was that so destabilizing for her? That really was an easy, easy seed of doubt that she planted. Oh, it's an art. It's not just the power of suggestion. You're not supposed to do that? There's so many rules. It's <laughs> a pretty cool quirk. As it goes passing out. That's a killer? Oh. Is this death? Is this death by odor? I heard you like arms. I'll have some more of them. Lady Tamayo ended up being a stone cold killer. <laughs> she could have done that a little earlier though. No. She could have saved us from Yusuke from having his head blown off. And as he goes, leg blown off. There's just so much lore packed into everything. What is this thing about saying his name out loud, activating a curse? It's also interesting that demons cannibalize each other and the fact that he's using this common enemy to mobilize people to his cause. That I think is actually a very convincing place for someone at the top to be. Especially a villain who's like living among ranks of people who are not the most trustworthy, let's say. If they're, you know, well, on the villain side, but more basically in this show, just demons. It's got to be hard being at the top for anyone. And I feel like that's actually a really great tactic. Like, if you don't want people to look at your own flaws, you don't want people to ask too many questions, give them an enemy. Give them an enemy and give them a purpose. She didn't have a defense for him. Like, her response was sort of not related to the claim Lady Tamayo made. It was that he was amazing and powerful. That's not what she was saying. She was saying that he's manipulating her. Not that it mattered what she said, because she was about to get arms through the face and chest. But she's having a great time. It's a lot of fun. Dear Diary, today I got to hug Lady Tamayo. She's so cold. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I would drop this word from my mouth as well. Who is she? Gee, I wonder if she'll make it. 
explain. Oh, he put like a weird fox die in her. Some kind of limiter. Huh, he's got a lot of power. So she, she didn't actually kill her. She activated, activated something already inside of her. Oh. So what, she was just on a power trip? Wishful thinking? Did they even know? Can you still harvest their blood from the ground? That was weak? Yeah, they were very lackey-ish. There you go. One down, 99 to go. That was obvious. That did not require saying. Yelling at Tanjiro for no reason. Quick, squeeze in a tragic backstory while you still can. While you still have a mouth. I was a child playing with tamaris when the demons came from my village. Well, not a backstory exactly, but still find it a way to make it sad. But at least she had fun. Maybe his true power isn't like a, a demon ability, but just being compelling. I wonder if this is self-reflection in some way. Even in a moment like this, he's able to find compassion. He sees her as a victim. Correctly identifying the root. The hatred only grows. That's so warm coming from Yushiro. <laughs> His jokes continue. His weird jokes. <laughs> her sound effects. Ooh, jealousy? This guy's got it bad. You sure needs to chill. I hate you so much and you're, you're disgusting. Joking. Just kidding. She's just filling her kawaii quota. Kawaii quota. It's hard to say. That's not it. Was she losing hope? Or did she have a daughter? You sure was like, why can't I make her feel this way? <laughs> did they really give up their humanity though? What was actually given up? It just seems a f like a physical transformation. And also he lost a sense of humor. Other than that, they seem pretty human. There are probably humans with less humanity than these demons. Leave it already? We just became family. Oh right, the risk to our lives and all that. Have you considered contacts? We, we're not going to fulfill our kawaii quota with her not in the show. But it would be hella convenient. Uh, she's like she's a fighter now. She's his partner in battle. It's not like she's dead weight like in a video game escort mission. She's a partner. That's why we're on the journey in the first place. We're all we have left. We'll cross paths again. Can you lend us your powers of fragrance? Just kidding. <laughs> Not eyesore at all. That's true kindness and warmth. All right, Raven, tell us our next mission. Can he become a, a character that does more than just deliver directions? I want him to like solidly join the crew. Oh, look who it is. This is not the way, my friend. Yeah, there's nothing sexier than someone begging for you to like them. I'm a little bit disappointed that they're parting ways. I kind of wanted Lady Tamayo to teach Tanjiro the power of Old Spice commercials. Look at my hand, now back to you. Now back to your own hand coming out of your stomach, crushing your own face. You spoke the wrong name and got paralyzed. Now the sun is coming up and you're dust. You play with balls. Well, that was a crazy little detour. It started off with being face to face with the big bad, the archdemon himself, but then that revealing allies. I think I saw it in a comment mentioned that that was a little bit convenient, but actually it makes total sense to me. Michael Jackson demon is not just any demon, he's this terrifying force that is sort of king of the demons, or one of them at least. 
and it seems to be the origin of a lot of demon existence. So it makes sense that there would be a small world surrounding him of people who are affected by him or people who have reason to fear him and are aware of his existence. They were watching him, right? That's why their paths crossed. And that will likely be true for other characters as well. So now it seems like we're moving on and we'll form new allies, but I, I feel like these two will come up again. We've established some solid bonds and Yujiro will have a lot to write about in his diary. Da, 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 da. Hit me with the secret, Tanjiro. Here we go, here's some development for our cruel friend. Alright, I'm not gonna remember that. This is the same voice actor. That's the life you, life you chose, my friend. You can't rest. That's that's Every time you're resting, someone's dying. It's the All Might and Endeavor dilemma. That can get super overwhelming. You walk a certain path and you realize that there's more you could be doing. There's always more you could be doing. I feel like when that goes wrong, that just crushes you and it, it's game over. You just drop out. you got to have a connection to the actual meaning of it. What it does not only for the results you want, but what it does for you personally to think about doing that. It's the only way through it, I think. But Tanjiro is that kind of person and he definitely is connected to his goal. 